Alright, I am working on my shadow box some more today. I really like all the little bottles that I made yesterday, but I decided I don't want my cabinet full of all bottles. I want other stuff in there too. So, I'm making some other stuff. So far, all I've done is put this glass slide thing together, cut out a picture from one of the scrapbook pages and stuck in there. I didn't show that because I doubt very many of us have these <laughs> antique slide holders. Some do, but they're not exactly readily available, so that wasn't a tutorial I felt necessary. I just cut it out and sandwiched it in there, and there we go. And I also glued, this is still kind of drying. Uh, this is another piece of scrapbook paper. I don't remember. Wanderlust or Gypsy Moments. I think this was Gypsy Moments. It's this sheet. I just cut out one of the books and then framed the title of the book right there like that. So, that is still kind of drying. And then I took one of these thrust bearings that I got from American Science and Surplus, glued it onto this metal piece that's available from Canvas Corp. It, uh, seven, I think it's Seven Gypsies. And then decided I just wanted to continue to build it into a little pocket watch because I think I have enough stuff. So let's just see. I've got this watch face that kind of barely fits. So I'm just going to put glue right around the rim of the opening. I'm using E6000. Now I'm going to put hands on it, and I've got some, got some hands. And I'm going to need a little something to hold the hands in place. Okay, now got my little watch put together. Picked me out some watch hands and then a little, that's like a little winder deal. Stuck it in there. Used a tiny dab of E6000, dipped the things in there, and there we have it. So let that dry. And then I thought I would just kind of decorate this maybe with some watch parts. that dry. Now I've got some, these are Tria alcohol ink re-inkers that I'm just kind of using for some distressing <laughs> effects. This is a little Ikea clip. You know, it has the hook on it. I just took some pliers and bent the hook to take it off. And then now I'm just going to color it with alcohol ink. Alright, here's where we are. I think, I think we're in a good place. Um, and I think maybe that can go there, and this can go here, maybe like that. Are we dry? Almost.
floor. That might be cool. There's a little thing right there. Or I could get a piece of something and tie that on there. Okay, that's an idea. Let me find a piece of something. This is a piece of this waxed cotton cord from Canvas Home Basics. And I'm going to color it with some sprays. Just tattered leather. This is craft. Some olive stained glass. Hmm. Uh, okay, this little thing, see, it's got the little indention there, but that's not really a hole. I think I'm going to drill that hole through so that I can put this in there maybe. Actually, I might want to pull that one out of there and put it in there. Oh yeah, and then go through the top one, which I believe was drilled all the way through, but it's not very wide. I know, I, yeah, there's no way I can get that cord through there, so I'm going to ream it out a little bit more with a little bit in my Dremel. Someone had asked the other day why I didn't use my Dremel to drill the holes I made in here, and I don't think I was real clear about that. It was because the bit I was using was extremely small, and I didn't have the right size collet for my Dremel. And what that is, there are different sizes. Here. This is your chuck. This is the collet. And they come in different sizes because these Dremel attachments come in different, this is little mandrel for the attachment, and they come in different sizes. Like, uh, okay, see this one is a lot wider than that one, and it doesn't fit in that collet. So, I have different collets. And I can use, see there's a bigger one, now it will fit, because this, when you 
whoops, when you tighten this, it squeezes this, and that's what holds this still, keeps it from flying out of the thing, right? So that was why I had to use the cheesy little tool, because these are the collets for the little tools. Put these away. Right here for the little tool. But these collets don't fit my Dremel. <laughs> so that was the whole issue for why I had to use the cheesy little barely working um, Dremel type tool, which did the job. It complained, but it did the job. So that's the how come for that, in case you wanted to know. Okay, here's some hemp from the hemp guy. That one I think would go through just fine, but I am probably going to use this little skinny one. This way, I can poke this through here like this and hang it like that so that it hangs straight, because if I just slip it through a knot, it's going to hang to the side like that. Let's see, this way, it'll hang straight like that. So, that is what I'm going to do with that. I will glue the little um, thing that I've lost. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> I will glue that back in there as soon as I get through messing with it. I'm going to save this. I might use this still in something. Okay. Yep, I like that. I want to put something under this clip. I don't know what. Okay. Now, I'm going to have to stand this up to do this so I can see how things are going to fit. So, I have to do that off camera. I will stand up and arrange everything, but I won't do anything exciting that you know, you will regret missing, I promise. I will try not to do that. <laughs> I'm just going to, you know, arrange and rearrange and see what happens, and I'll be back. Okay, what do we think? I think we're getting there. Okay. <clears throat> I pulled these out of this mini ephemera kit. This is the correspondence one from Seven Gypsies. And they were just some ticket looking things and then a little sign language chart. And I distressed them with, you know, my scissors like I do and then sprayed some tattered leather in here with a little bit of water so I could get some light and some dark. And now, now I'm going to get my, oh, I forgot about those. Dead gum. Okay. Uh, I'm hiding all kinds of stuff under here. What the heck? Okay. Because I wanted to use this to kind of hold these maybe like what like that right there on the spin. I love these little things and I just want to put one in here somewhere. I think maybe I can put it right there. Maybe the other way. Okay, and um, what else? Oh yeah, this one I kind of wanted to put over here somewhere. Yeah, I think like that. <laughs> My little workspace is getting smaller and smaller and smaller. <laughs> Oh, let's see. 
yeah, I think I wanted to put that on there. That was just a little key that I put some alcohol inks on. I know I said I didn't want to use alcohol inks. There was just no way around it. You just have to use the right tool for the job. And in this situation, alcohol inks were the right tool for the job. It's just all there was to it. Okay. That's looking good. Do we agree? I think we should, well, I think we could all agree. That's looking really good. In fact, I'm going to start securing things down, gluing down anything that's loose. I want to secure it in its place, and then I will be back. I think we're in the home stretch. I used um, E6000 to glue everything down, and I mean everything. Even strings are glued in place. <laughs> I don't want anything moving. Uh, after that, I took a small brush and some uh, super loaded matte medium. The stuff. And I just kind of went around and touched it on anything that was really shiny, you know, like a. Because the E6000, it can be shiny. So if you just put some of this on any of the little shiny spots, then when it dries, they will dry with a matte finish, and it just kind of helps to hide the glue. You can do that on uh, uh, hot glue too, you know, because sometimes it shows, and occasionally you can paint over it and hide it. Sometimes it's hard. So just use a little brush and some super loaded matte medium and cover up anything shiny that draws attention to the, itself and, you know, says, hey, look, I'm glue. <laughs> yeah. And that kind of helps a little bit. I put a few other little uh, doodads out that I didn't have before. This is a cover little metal cover of a fuse box and I put the little whatever that is uh, hinge pin right there um, another little gear right up here in the corner and some little brass pieces those are actually off of a doorknob it's part of doorknob hardware and my little uh, strep throat swabs you know, just a few other little things here and there to fill in. And I think the only thing left, or maybe two things left. I'm kind of thinking I want a window in here. And I'm kind of thinking I want the glass to be broken. So I'm kind of thinking I probably shouldn't use glass. <laughs> so I may grab a piece of acetate and see if I can get it to look like dirty broken glass. I don't know. <laughs> you know. That may or may not work. We'll see. But I want to do that, and then I want to put some kind of a... I'm thinking something on top to, to hold it or to hang it or something. I don't know. So, anyway, that is it and for now until I uh, figure out what comes next. The end.